Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for another beautiful day. Bless the name of Jesus. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Anna Green, Sister Rosemary Lee Ware, Brother McGrowder, Sister Violet Hendricks. Good morning to you all. Brother T, good morning. Come on board. God bless you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just another worship song. Mm. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. Good morning, Facebook. Sister Beverly Forrest, Sister Beverly Johnson, Sister Emma King. Good morning. Wow, Sister Cody K. Johnson, Sister Lana. Good morning. Praise the name of Jesus. Good morning, Sister Lola Barnett. It's a blessing to have you on this morning. To God be the glory. My God, my God. Great and marvelous is our God. Good morning, Sister Harvey. Brother Harvey Yazin. Good morning, Sister Rose Burt. Sister Burrell, good morning. Welcome to another morning's worship at the Lord's table. Glory to Almighty God. This is a special morning. Every morning is special. But this morning is a very special morning. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. It's really good to be up and alive and in our right minds. Good morning, Sister Carol Johnson. Good morning. Glory to Almighty God. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. He's worthy this morning. He's worthy this morning. We need to give him praise. Just to be up this morning, it was not the alarm clock that did it. It was God who woke us up this morning in our right minds. It was God. It is God who's doing it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just another worship song. As we give God praise this morning. Morning, Sister McEachron. Good morning. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a blessing to be alive this morning. Not standing on top of our graves. No, we aren't doing that. We are standing on the promises of Almighty God. And the promises of God are yea and amen. Hallelujah. God promised us life. Life more abundantly. We are living this morning. Good morning, Sister Pauline Simmons. Sister Doreen Lamy. Good morning. Another morning to give God thanks and praise. Hallelujah. My God. Has God done anything for you lately? Have you been a recipient of the goodness of God? Welcome, Sister Manderson. Hallelujah. Oh, praise your name, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to your mighty name, Jesus. You are worthy. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody need to tell him this morning that he's worthy. 
Hallelujah. Honor him. Honor him this morning. He's worthy. Oh, glory to Almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, another morning we sing his mercies. So many persons got up this morning. They are in the hospital somewhere. Good morning, Sister Sonia Ramsey. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. They are in a hospital somewhere. Some are home, but they are not well. My God. Some persons got blinded this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Some persons tried to get off their beds this morning, but their knees could not manage. Oh, God. Look at you. Look at me. Look at us. Look at us this morning. Let's say like the writer, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Good morning, Sister Carol Thompson. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Welcome and boys, Sister Carlene Reed and Sister Leng. Hallelujah. Another morning to be thankful to God. Brothers and sisters, let us give God thanks. You don't need me to tell you all of that. The very fact that you're breathing in and breathing out. Gentlemen, I know some years ago when I saw him, I said, how are you? He says, well, my side is going in and out. Just the fact that your sides are going in and out, you're breathing in, you're breathing out. Just the fact that you're doing that, it means that you have a right to give God praise this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. So we are worshiping Almighty God this morning from our home. Some people are on the job. Some are on their way to work. Some are going to be working from home today. Some people are preparing to go to fasting. Morning, Sister Collette. Sister Norma Loney. Good morning. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Glory to Almighty God. Give him praise. Give him praise this morning. We give him glory this morning for he's worthy. While you're giving him praise and giving him glory, turn your Bibles to Psalm 100. I told you this morning is different. It's different because of who God is. It's different because God woke us up this morning. Good morning, Sister Carlene Daly. Hallelujah. Blessed morning. Blessed morning. Blessed morning this morning. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. I can see the sun getting ready to shine over Jamaica in all its brilliance. Getting ready to shine over England. 609 here in Jamaica. 1209 over there in London. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you in London. Hallelujah. It's after seven in the USA. Some parts that is. Because there are other parts that are way ahead. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. This morning it's about us worshiping God. Psalm 100. When you find it, just type Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And you find it type amen psalm 100 it's known oh bless the name of jesus just another worship song another day to worship almighty god what a way to start the day by giving god praise good afternoon sister forest oh bless the name of jesus hallelujah mm. Thank you, Jesus. Morning, Sister Beverly Henry. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 
Mighty God of heaven, what a blessing, what a blessing, what a blessing this morning. We are alive. We are alive this morning. Morning, brother Ratri. Good morning. Oh, bless the Lord. Good morning, sister Burrell and family. Finding Psalm 100. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Almighty God. Morning, Ava Big B. Edmund. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, hallelujah. Blessing indeed. Mm -hmm. I saw Bishop Raymond Bryan. Good morning, good morning. I saw him earlier. Praise the name of Jesus. Morning, Sister Gretel Erskine. Welcome on board. God bless you. Glory to God. Just another worship song I write to you. It's time to get into the word of God. Just five verses. Very short psalm. Just five verses. And we read. The word of God reads as follows. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pastures. Of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his course with praise. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generations. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. But where? Join me in prayer at this time for insight and foresight. We want our knowledge to be opened. Hallelujah. God bless you, brother Rattery. God bless you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you this morning for bringing us into a brand new day. A day that we have never seen before. Oh yes, we call it Wednesday, but this is the first time we are entering this Wednesday. And God, we are thankful. Many planned to be here today, but they are not. But we are here and God, what we have is now. What we have now is the praises to give to you. And so we are giving our praise to you, God. Hallelujah. We're giving our worship to you. We're glorifying your name today. And so, Heavenly Father, we pray that you will give us insight. Give us knowledge and understanding to your word so that we may be able to apply the word to our lives. For there is power in your word. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. And so we bless you. We honor you. We thank you for hearing us. And we thank you for being with us this morning. In Jesus Christ's name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Praise the name of Jesus. The topic I'm speaking on this morning is give thanks. That is the topic I'll be speaking on this morning. Give thanks. We are in a society and particularly some persons that I've come in contact with where they, they will they will they will just come and you know common courtesies common graces we call them people seem to have forgotten them people no longer want to say please and thank you and 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 we we just get things we grab and go without saying thanks and the the, the kind of society that many of us grew up in was a society that taught us to say thanks for everything that we have received and so when we wake up in the morning one of the first things that we would say is thank you lord for a brand new day hallelujah glory to almighty god and the fact that we are alive this morning the fact that we are in our right minds glory to almighty god it means that we can give god thanks we can give him praise because he is worthy 
to be praised. Somebody go ahead and give him praise this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. So this morning, as we are up, we, we, we can look around us and we see many reasons why we need to tell God thanks. Glory to Almighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. The, the, the psalm begins with a simple and direct command for everyone to praise Almighty God. Amen. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands, every nation, every people, everything that have breath. Make a joyful, exuberant, exciting noise unto Almighty God this morning. Your neighbors need to hear your praise in God. Hallelujah. Your, your family need to hear your praise in God. Amen. Your, your co-workers need to hear your praise in God. They can't do anything to harm you. All they need to do is burst out in praise and give God glory. Some of us are too quiet, man. We can't worship God in holy quietness. We, we, we need to worship God with noise. The psalmist says, make a joyful, a happy, an exuberant and exciting noise unto the Lord God Almighty. So the fact that I woke up this morning in my right minds is enough for me to shout hallelujah. The fact that I am up in my right mind this morning, the fact that I can see glory to Almighty God, welcome on board, Sister Susan James. The fact that I can feel, I can I can see, I can taste, I can smell, I can, I can get up and walk. I walked over to this desk and sat in front of these cameras, God Almighty. It's enough for me to make no noise unto God. And if you don't want me to make noise, then you better stop up your ears. But I'm going to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I'm not going to be quiet about what God is doing in my life. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to be joyful in praising God because that is my responsibility. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. The original word signifies a glad shout. And that's why the Bible says, shout to the Lord. Amen. Shout to the Lord. We need to shout praises to God. Some people say, God, not deaf. You don't need to be making a lot of noise. But the same God who is not deaf, my brothers and sisters, is the same God who invites us to make a joyful noise unto him. Somebody go ahead and give God praise this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. So the original word signifies a glad shout such as loyal subjects give when their king appears before them. Our king of kings and lord of lords should be worshipped by a happy people. When you're praising God, you must be excited. When you're praising God, you should be happy. When you're praising God, you should be joyful about it. You don't need to wear a sad face when you're praising God. Not at all. You need to be excited. People need to look on you and see that you're happy. One songwriter says, I sing because I am happy. I sing because I am free. Glory to Almighty God. You can go ahead and give God praise this morning. Your king of kings wants you to praise him. Your lord of lords wants you to praise him. Go ahead and praise him. Every nation must recognize who God is. He is Yahweh. He is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Glory to Almighty God. He is Jehovah Shalom. He is our peace. And this morning, we can give him praise. Glory to Almighty God. Hallelujah. Do you have anything to praise God for? Or are you waiting for me to tell you to praise God? You should have something to praise God for. Go ahead and give God praise. Hallelujah. Welcome on board, Sister Simone. Good afternoon over there in London as well. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We should have been dead and buried. Hallelujah. From the first that a coronavirus hit Jamaica. Many of us, we came in contact with coronavirus people. And many of us, we have conditions. And we call them comorbidities. We have conditions, underlying conditions, that according to science, if we contract the COVID, we are going to 
die. Hallelujah. And some of us, uh, we came in contact with people with COVID. Some persons I know have underlying conditions and they contracted COVID, but they are still here. You are still here. Glory to Almighty God. You have enough to give God thanks and praise for this morning. Rise up and shout hallelujah. Give him praise this morning for he's worthy to be praised. Good morning, Sister Sonia Hutton. Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to bless God this morning. Whether you want me to praise him or not, I'm still going to praise him. I have a praise on my lips. I have a song in my heart. Good morning, Sister Tracy Alexander. I have a reason to praise God and I'm going to praise him. All ye lands, get up and give God praise this morning. Glory to Almighty God. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Give him praise. The fact that you are alive this morning, give God praise. Give him worship for he is worthy to be praised. The psalmist goes on. He says, serve the Lord with gladness. Hallelujah. Serve him happy. If you are on the job, I was thinking about it this morning, that if you have your job and you're not excited about your job, you, you, you won't want to stay in that job for too long. Amen. Because you're not excited. You don't look forward to going back to work. But when you're excited about your job, when you love your job and you are excited and you just want to go to work because you find something that you love, that you're doing, glory to Almighty God, you're going to get up and go. You're going to go with excitement. You're going to go with gladness. You're going to go happy even if the salary is not what you're expecting and what you want. But because you're happy doing what you're doing, you're going to look forward to going. My God, this morning, serving God should be exciting for the child of God. Serving God should be exciting for all of us on board this morning and all persons that this will be shared with today. Glory to Almighty God. So the Bible says we must serve God with gladness. It is your honored privilege and duty to be happy in worshiping God. When you are worshiping God, it should not be forced. It should not operate like you are being forced to serve God. You should operate like you love to do it. Amen. So if you wake up in the middle of the night, you should wake up with a praise. If you wake up 4 a.m. this morning, you should wake up with a praise. If you are sick, you should have a praise. If you are broke and hungry, you should still have a praise. No wonder the psalmist declares, I will bless the Lord at all times and this praise shall continually I'm excited about praising God and I'm going to praise him all the days of my life serve the Lord with gladness welcome on board sister Valerie Grant and sister Nash Brown God bless you this morning as we praise God with gladness we serve him we are happy about what we are doing so when you see me praising God I am not forced nobody forcing me to praise God man when I come to praise God. I come to praise him because God is good. Oh, hallelujah. One woman, she couldn't understand the goodness of God. And she said, God, good, bad. I don't know how she got the two words, good and bad in the same sentence, but it made sense to her. It makes sense to me. The type of goodness that God has given to us. We can declare, and whether it's correct in the English language or not, we can declare this morning that God, good, bad. Glory to Almighty God. The songwriter say his goodness is running after me somebody need to praise him this morning serve the lord with gladness hallelujah come before his presence with singing when you come before god you should come with a song on your heart amen when you come before god this morning you should come with a song in your heart a song of praise a song of glory I love to sing. I'm not a good singer. And maybe if I start singing this morning, many of you would just come off. Hallelujah. But I love to sing. Sometimes the songs are not correct when I'm singing them. Sometimes I'm singing one song. I end up singing three songs as the same song. And my wife will tell me that I am singing three different songs. But the songs sound good to me because that's how I feel. Hallelujah. 
Amen. That's how I feel. So I come before God with singing. When you come before God, appear before him with singing, even if the words of the song may not be correct, but you are singing because you're happy. The songwriter says, come before the Lord with singing this morning. Amen. Singing praises unto God. Singing the deliverance song. Thanking God for your victory breakthrough. Sing unto the Lord a new song this morning. Somebody need to go ahead and praise him. Amen. Why do we do all of this? Why do we why do we make a joyful noise unto the Lord? Why 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 is it that we are encouraged to serve him with gladness and to come before his presence with singing? Amen. The writer goes on to explain why we need to do that. He says we need to know that God is God, the Lord is God. So when you appear before God and do all of these things, you're doing it not because the pastor say you must do it. You're not doing it because the deacon say you must do it. You're not doing it because the moderator at church say you must do it. But you're doing it this morning because you know that Almighty God is God. You know what he has done for you in your life. He is our creator. And so we worship him this morning. We are convinced that he is God. So when we come, we come with a prayer because we're praising Almighty God this morning. Hallelujah. The writer says, Know that the Lord is God. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. No way we could not make ourselves and yet we are destroying ourselves. Amen. Our bodies are the temples of the living God and so we need to take care of our bodies. Good morning, lady. God bless you. Thank you for joining again this morning. Hallelujah. Welcome and both. So we have New Yorkers in the house. Lots of them in the house. Brooklyn and Bronx. Amen. All over America is in the house. We give God praise. England is in the house. Jamaica is in the house. Glory to Almighty God. Enough to tell God thanks and praise for. Hallelujah. Amen. It is God who made us, brothers and sisters. The word says we are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Pastor, you may not dress like me. You may not behave like me when you're worshiping. But I have no right to condemn you because you are God's child. Amen. Sometimes we cast judgment on others because they don't worship like we do. They don't praise God the way we do. They don't sing the way we do. Hallelujah. Amen. I heard a pastor once saying to some persons who came to his church to sing a particular way. They were not singing like how they sang at the church. He got up and took the mic and told them that's not how we do it here. Embarrassed the people and they were so ashamed. I felt it for them. My God, but we have no right to condemn anyone. Every person is a child of God. Leave them to God. Let God deal with them how he will. Glory to God. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Amen, church. We need to understand that God has chosen us to be here this morning. We are not here by chance. Somebody might have shared the video and invited you, but you are not here by chance. You are here because God chose you for this moment. God chose chose you to be here this day. God chose you to be here this morning. Amen. At 6.28 a.m. in Jamaica. At 12.28 in England. 7.28 in some parts of the USA. And at other times, God chose you to be here at this hour. You have a right to praise God. Glory to Almighty God. Hallelujah. We are a sheep and of his pasture, we are his people. Amen. Amen. So we have a right to praise God. Hallelujah. When we come before God, the psalmist goes on. Amen. He says, when you come, come into his house with thanks and praise. When you walk into the house of God, when you come into the presence of God this morning, when you come to the Lord's table, come with giving thanks to God. Come giving thanks. Thanksgiving is a must. Amen. Uh, Kathy did a song and, and it made her popular. Took her to the Grammys. Hallelujah. And the 
song, uh, what, what part of the song says, gratitude is a must. I want to let somebody know this morning that gratitude is a must. Learn to show gratitude and appreciation. When you come this morning, give praise to God. Hallelujah. Come into his house with thanks and into his courts with praise. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. When you walk, give thanks. When you talk, give thanks. When you wake up in the morning, give thanks. As I said before, every opportunity that you get, give God thanks. For God is worthy to be praised. Tell him thanks this morning. Show him gratitude. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When we approach God, we should do so with thanksgiving, recognizing how good God has been to us. Into his courts with praise. Hallelujah. Giving God thanks. I've told the story so many times that those of you who are pastored will know me for telling the story. And as I start telling it, you're going to finish it. Hallelujah. But it's a story that was shared by my former bishop, W.A. Blair. And he said that this man went to church. And in the church, it is said that the pastor and the deacons told the people to be quiet for a month. They are going to worship God and they are going to they are going to, to, to explore worshiping God in a quiet way. Glory to Almighty God. Three Sundays and several hours passed. And Brother Joel, Brother John was good. He observed the principles that were set out by the church. But when he sat there in the last hour of the last Sunday morning, and while everything was going on and pastor was preaching, he felt something on the inside. Hallelujah. And when he felt something on the inside, it came on the outside. And he started to praise God like a crazy man. Hallelujah. He started to give God thanks. Pastor looked at him with raised eyebrows. The deacons turned and looked at him. And of course, everybody in church were surprised that this man could not behave himself for just one more hour. As he got up and he went out, went home. It is said that the Monday morning pastor and his deacons went down to the man's farm. And when they went down to the man's farm and they saw him plowing his farm, they came out and they said, Brother John, we need to have a little talk with you. Because we realized that for three Sundays and all of those times leading up, just one hour to go, and you could not behave yourself and just allow the day to finish like the others. Why couldn't you just humble yourself? And behave yourself in a right way. Brother John looked at pastor. Looked at the deacons that came to harass him on his farm. And he said to them. It has nothing to do with what you were preaching pastor. And I will not apologize. It has nothing at all to do with anything that was going on. But as I sat there in the service. I started to remember the goodness of God. I start to look at my family. My wife is alive. My children are alive. Glory to Almighty God. And as I looked at the goodness of God and the goodness of God flood my soul, I couldn't help it, Pastor. But I had to give a shout because God is too good to me. I had to shout the hallelujah, the high praise unto Almighty God. And Pastor, while you're there standing, I feel something. Glory to Almighty God. I feel a praise coming up. So, Pastor, I'm begging you, please, sir, hold my mule because I'm going to give God some praise right about now. Sometimes we need to look at the devil and said devil hold my mule sickness hold my mule glory to almighty god tormentors hold my mule criticizers hold my mule every situation that come against me hold my mule because i've got a praise i've got a praise i've got a praise i'm gonna give god thanks this morning whether you like it or not i am going to bless the lord at all times and his praise shall continue in my mouth glory to almighty god so why do we enter into his courts with praise? Hallelujah. Why do we come thankful before him? The writer says, for the Lord is good. Somebody go ahead and type, the Lord is good. Just go ahead and type it in YouTube. Type it in Facebook. The Lord is good this morning. Glory to almighty God. Hallelujah. He is good in his plans. He is good in his grace. He is good in his forgiveness. Hallelujah. When God forgives you, he may hold it against you. My God, he is good. 
good in his forgiveness. He is good with his covenant that he gave to you. He is good in every aspect of his being. God is good this morning. Somebody go ahead and declare it. God is good this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. God is good. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Two members of this group weren't doing well. I asked you to pray for them, and you did. You joined with me in prayer. I tell you that God is good. And I made sure I asked for permission to do this. So I'm not doing it because I just feel like doing it. I'm doing it because it is what God uh, would have us to do this morning. I told you this morning is different. That's why I broke. That's why I broke from the, 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 the passage that uh, we, we were looking at in St. Matthew. We're going back to St. Matthew 8. But I had to break from it because we need to give God thanks this morning. Hallelujah. So two members were doing well. Sister Lola Barnett and she's on this morning. Glory to Almighty God. I'm excited to see Sister Lola, Lola Barnett this morning. And Sister Norma Looney wasn't doing well at all. They weren't doing well. Sister Lola Barnett was in the hospital over there in Bronx, New York. And we prayed for her. Glory to Almighty God. Others might have prayed, but we are sure that we prayed on these platforms for sister lona barnett i got a text message yesterday from her son who is also on this morning oh she has been released from the hospital somebody go ahead and give god praise this morning she has been released from the hospital and guess what the test that they sent her to do because they suspected that something was wrong internally and so they sent her to do tests the doctors feared the worst and they sent her to do tests but when the praises go up and when the prayer warriors begin to pray, amen, prayer don't change God. God is unchangeable, but God changes our situation. I said when the prayer warriors prayed, when the prayer warriors began to call on the heavens above, Central never was busy. Jesus was always on the line. The text message yesterday said that she was soon to be released. Well, she has been released. Glory to Almighty God. Yes, she has been released. And guess what? There is nothing in the text that could prove what the doctors were thinking about. This morning, Sister Barnett, you have a right to give God thanks for God is good to you. Glory to Almighty God. God is awesome. Hallelujah. And I tell you, this morning is different. He's a miracle working God. We talked about the man who came to Jesus when he came up the mountain and he says, if you will, make me clean. We talked about the centurion servant that Jesus just gave a word for. And yesterday, we got the victory. Somebody go ahead and give God praise this morning. We have the victory in Jesus Christ. God is worthy to be praised. Welcome, Brother Bent. God is worthy to be praised. And this morning, we have the evidence that God is good. Glory to Almighty God. We have been praying for Sister Norma Loney. She went to the hospital, but she's back home. Hallelujah. Heard that she was still feeling some pains. But guess what, Sister Loney? God is still working on you. And Job said, when he's done with you, you're coming out like pure gold. Somebody need to go ahead and give God praise this morning. Hallelujah. As I close, as we close this morning, we declare that God is good. His mercy is everlasting. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. This brief psalm ends with God's unending mercy and tr truth. His unending mercy and truth. It says in verse 5, the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endureth to all generation. You know what the truth is? The truth is God is good. You know what the truth is? The truth is God is excellent. You know what the truth is? The truth is God Almighty is our Savior. Welcome on board, Councillor Milton Miles. God bless you down there in Westmoreland. Hallelujah. The truth is God is awesome this morning. The truth is he woke us up in our right minds. The truth is God is good and he deserves our praise. 
Hallelujah. When you talk, talk about God. When you're on the job, talk about God. I once preached a sermon and I told the church, if you love to gossip, gossip Jesus. Gossip about God. God don't mind it when you talk about him. Talk about God. Tell everybody about God. Everybody you come in contact with, tell them about the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for you. The songwriter said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Glory to Almighty God. God is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generation. Glory to God Almighty. Awesome miracle work in God. You need a miracle this morning. Give God thanks for that miracle. Don't wait until you get through your trouble to praise God. Praise him before you go through your trouble. There was a group in Israel. They were going to fight their battles. And the Lord commanded them and said, you need to start praising. The people got out their, their horns and their trumpets and the musicians and everybody, the tambourines, and they went up. Even before they set foot where the enemy was and they started to praise God, by the time they got where the enemy was, the enemy was already dead. God Almighty will move your situation when you praise him, when you tell him thanks. God will change your situation when you begin to thank him. Thank him and stop complaining. For God is good. His mercies. Hallelujah. Amen. His mercies are everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Give God thanks this morning. Glory to Almighty God. Good morning, Sister Anne Marie Francis Bailey. Hallelujah. Good morning. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good this morning, YouTube. God is good, Facebook. And so you have a right to tell him thanks. Give him thanks this morning and give him praise. As we continue to love him and to serve him. So this morning, as we pray, we want to pray a prayer of thanksgiving. Amen. And songwriter says, sometimes I just want to praise you. I come on board, Sister Delpha Hewitt. God bless you, Sister Delpha Hewitt Barrett. Songwriter says, sometimes I just want to praise you. Sometimes just to speak your name. Sometimes I just want to thank you without asking you for anything. Sometimes I just lift my hands to you. Glory to Almighty God. Can you lift your hands to God this morning? Glory to Almighty God. As we are in the presence of Almighty God, tell him thanks. Sometimes I lift my hands to you. Oh God, I recognize who you are. You're awesome. You're mighty. You're wonderful. Hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised. I don't have the money, but I'm not going to ask you for it. I'm just going to thank you for it. Glory to Almighty God. My bills are to be paid. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to thank you that you have paid my bills. I'm not feeling well in my body. I'm not going to complain about the pain. I'm going to thank you for healing me. I'm just telling you thanks this morning. Father, we thank you. Let us all give God thanks this morning in our closing prayer. Father, we thank you this morning for waking us up in our right minds. We thank you this morning, Almighty God, for visiting in our rooms. We thank you, Almighty God, for visiting our situation. We thank you for turning our situation around. Glory to Almighty God. We thank you for healing in our bodies. We thank you for healing in our marriages. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for healing in our finances, our workplaces, our jobs. We thank you for healing in our churches, God. We thank you for healing in our families. We thank you for healing in our communities, God. We thank you this morning that you consider us to wake us up in our right minds. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for your favor upon us, God. We are under your favor and we thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God, for your everlasting mercies. Thank you for your truth, God. Fact versus truth. Fact says that we are sick, but the truth says by your stripes we are healed. God, we thank you that you have reversed the situation. We thank you, Almighty God, that you have canceled every sickness out of my body. 
I thank you, Almighty God, that you have healed my family. I thank you, Almighty God, that you have healed the viewers on Facebook who are viewing Almighty God participating from USA, Almighty God from England, from the Caribbean islands, from Jamaica. I thank you, God, for those on YouTube who are viewing from England and God Almighty, wherever else they are from Jamaica, the Caribbean islands. I thank you, God, that you have provided internet access for them. To be part of this de devotion i thank you almighty god that you are a forgiving god thank you for your covenant that you have established between you and i and us thank you almighty god for your plan for your word says you you know the plans you have for me there are plans to prosper me and to bless me and to make me better thank you almighty god that you build a fence around us you build a fence around my family. You build a fence around the families of those on Facebook and on YouTube. You built a fence of protection around us. Thank you, Almighty God, for your everlasting blessings upon us. Thank you, Almighty God, that you stand by us, even though we do not deserve. But thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Thank you this morning. Thank you for the blessing that you have given to every person who have been sharing these videos morning after morning on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you, God, that you have blessed them and that you will continue to bless them. Thank you that you are blessing them in New York, in Bronx, New York, and in Virginia and in, in Canada, God Almighty, in England and I, in Jamaica, I thank you for your blessings over your people this morning, this day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. May your blessings continue to be with us as we continue to trust you and love you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thanks, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Songwriter said, There's a roof up above me and a good place to sleep. Welcome, Sister Dylan. There is food on my table and shoes on my feet. You gave me your love. And a wonderful family. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. God bless you, Facebook. God bless you, YouTube. What a wonderful, blessed morning. The testimonies of the Lord are sure. God has blessed us today. And we are glad and thankful. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a productive week. Minister Ali Ellis, God bless you. God bless you. Angela Collins, God bless you. God bless you. Hit the share, share, share the button, share the, the devotion, hit the share button and share it with those who can share with this morning. And let them know that they should give God thanks. Morning, Mavis Williams. How did I miss you? Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Have a peaceful day. As you go about your business today, giving God thanks for his goodness toward you, his blessing over you. Don't complain. No matter how bad the situation is, no matter how bad it gets, don't complain. Just give God thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. God bless you. God wish to keep you. As we continue to love him. And serve him. Praise the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Minister James is in the background. Just another worship song. Without you, 
Just another worship song. God bless you. God bless you, Councillor Miles. God bless you. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Bless the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you all. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. YouTube, have a blessed day. Facebook, have a blessed day. I will bless you, Lord, because I am faithfully and wonderfully made. Sister Loney, God bless you. God bless you too, Sister Adelpha Barrett. Hallelujah. See you tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock. YouTube, 6 o'clock. Jamaica time, 6 o'clock. Jamaica time, Facebook. God bless you. Have a peaceful day. God bless you. God bless you, Wadia. Peace of God be over you and your family, over your sons. God bless them. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you today. Hallelujah. Just another worship.